So from previous trips to Hong Kong, I know that there are a lot of hotels and cafes that give you free Wi-Fi. However, I also knew that I was going to do a lot of walking around, so I needed to get a data SIM card for my phone. I very much believe in convenience trumps cost. So as soon as I arrived at the airport, I walked straight into the 1010 store at the arrivals hall in the airport and got myself a pay-as-you-go data card. In other words, I didn't really spend any time going from shop to shop to see where I can get a better deal. I basically took the first best package I could find at the first best store I could find. And they set everything up for me right there in the store. Very convenient. One of the benefits of getting the card in the store right at the airport was I could explain to them in English exactly what I wanted to use the card for in terms of data, so Google Maps, email, stuff like that. I also told them how long I was staying there. By this then, the clerk suggested that I got a $118 Hong Kong dollar eight-day tourist card, which in hindsight was definitely the right choice for me. There are two options for pay-as-you-go cards. Of course, these might change over time, so go ahead and check online if you did want to do a bit of research beforehand. I went for the Discover Hong Kong Tourist Card. Now, this card also has two packages. The first one is a five-day package, which is 88 Hong Kong dollars, and the second one is an eight-day package at $118 Hong Kong, which is the one I ended up getting because I was in Hong Kong for one week. With the bigger card, the $88 package, you get five gigabytes of data use, which was more than enough for doing the basic things that I wanted to do. The provider, of course, also has Wi-Fi hotspots all over the city. But to be honest, I didn't even look for them. I had more than enough data to last me for the week that I was there. The interesting thing about this card is that you can also use it in China and Macau, provided it's within the day package that you have, the five days or the eight days but at a steep $40 per day for only 40 megabyte cost. Then again, I have to admit, on my first day arriving in China while I was still finding my bearings, that 40 megabytes came in really handy in navigating and finding my hotel. Every card has different perks for roaming costs, international costs and so on. From my understanding, all cards have free calls if you're calling from a Hong Kong number to a Hong Kong number, regardless of the package that you've chosen. You can, of course, add more money to your card, especially if you're going to travel to Macau or China and you wanted to make use of that $40 per day package. You can go to any convenience store and add credit to your card, or you can go to any of the 1010 store outlets. The only thing is I'm not sure if you can recharge your card in China or Macau. So you might want to do that before you travel to China and Macau, if that's the purpose that you're going to be using it for. Which is again why I would suggest that you go straight into the first 1010 store, or if you want to prefer another store, go in there, give them your phone, let them have a look which card would be more suitable for you, tell them how long you're staying there, and give them an idea of how much data you're going to be using while you're there. That'll make your life a lot easier because they're going to set everything up for you right there in the store and probably within 10 minutes you're going to be connected. 